Hi, welcome to Weekly Word. Thanks again for watching this week, and I hope that you're finding these to be helpful and encouraging in your life, and uh, maybe uh, God would use it to share with somebody else to strengthen and encourage them. I wanna to talk to you today about how sometimes we need to shut ourselves off from everything else so that we can see God work. There's a great story in 2 Kings chapter four about the prophet Elisha. The Bible says that he had a company of men, uh, basically kind of like a school of prophets that were with him, that he trained and developed. Well, one of the men that was a part of that company had died. And his widow comes to Elisha and says, uh, my husband is dead and he left debts, debts that I've got to be paid. And so my sons and I are going to be uh, put in slavery to pay the debt. And Elisha tells her, okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get all the jars you possibly can in your house. And I want you to go to your neighbors and friends. And I want you to get empty jars from them. And I want you to take them all home. And then I want you to shut the door. And I want you to take the oil you have and I want you to begin to pour it in those jars. The miracle happened that this little oil that the lady had, all of a sudden had multiplied and was able to fill all of the jars, all of the containers that she had, that her friends had, and that her neighbors had. And Elisha said, then go and take that, sell it, and pay your debts. What I find interesting about that story is, is that Elisha told her to shut the door before this miracle would take place. To shut the door and be alone with herself and God and the experience of what God was going to do in her lives. You know, often in our life, God wants us to pull away and shut ourselves off. Now, some of you hear that and go, now, wait a minute, Pastor Ray, we don't need any more lockdowns. No, I'm not talking about a lockdown like that. I find many people over this pandemic were locked down and working from home, and reports I got, some of them were working harder and longer at home than they were when they were going to the office every day because they had a difficult time separating between family time and work time and when was the time to shut it all off. No, I'm talking about being very intentional. Intentional maybe in the morning or in the evening or maybe at lunchtime or maybe in all of those times. Finding a place that you can shut yourself off from everybody else and just say, God, would you speak to me? God, would you show me something? You know, life can be like a treadmill if you let it get that way where you're always on the go, always on the run, always connected. My goodness, how many devices we have that are going off and sounding off warnings and alerts and messages and new emails and all kinds of things to distract us in this world. Maybe we're so distracted, maybe we're so worn out on the treadmill that we're not even hearing from God. It's good to shut the door, to shut off the phone, to shut yourself off and say, God, would you speak to me? Would you show me what you want to do in my life? Would you perform a miracle in my life? This lady ran out of everything. She ran out of all the options. And then Elisha said, now go pour out, pour out that oil. And when she did, it filled everything up and God showed her a miracle. I encourage you, find the time to shut off the phone, shut, off, shut the door, and spend time with God and let him speak into your life this week. May God bless you, and we'll see you next week.
Nothing you can't do, you're faithful and true.